It is coming to the end of the transfer window, and I asked you guys who we should sign. We had some good recommendations, and some all right recommendations, and some very poor recommendations. So let's go check them out in this episode. First up of your wonderful recommendations is going to be good old Seppi Van Denberg. Now, unfortunately, he's a little bit out of our price range of 11 million to 16 and a half. Also, if we did try to loan him, we wouldn't be able to get him in. They do want to play him as a wide centre back, and I can't offer him that. And we know on Football Manager that a lot of managers get annoyed if you don't play him in their preferred role. Never mind the position, the preferred role. So we can't get him in. He is not going to be for us. Next up is going to be good old Noah Darvish. I don't have the full scouting of him. We are going to try and get the full scouting on him, though, so we can see scouting in progress. If I wanted to get him in, I would have to play him as an attacking midfield center and play him as an attacking midfielder. I don't mind the important player, but now we've changed to this 4-2-4. I don't think we're going to get him in that position. And I don't really want to annoy Barcelona because they have some very good youth players that I might want down the line. So I don't want to annoy him that they tell us that we can't loan any players from them. Next is going to be Oscar Bob. He looks absolutely great, but another one out of our prime range at 49 million. He's just flying up in value. They do want to play as that attacking midfield central as well as an advanced playmaker, so we can't really go in for him as I don't want to upset Manchester City neither because that's the players I would want to get somewhat from. And it's going to cost us 1.6 million to 3.1 million just to have him on loan. So for us, we won't be getting them in. With one hour left on the transfer deadline, we do pick up Ahmed Diallo from Manchester United. This is going to be a load deal. He's coming in to be a right winger for us. Just look at the pace of him and look at this dribbling and first touch flair determination. Oh, it just oozes technique as well. So we're going to give him a wheel on that right-hand side, help out with a little bit of pace there. When Suso's a little bit tired, we can bring him on and just try to capitalize on them outside wingers. Crossing in to the likes of Lorenzo Luca and Maruki. It's going to be a phenomenal thing, and this is going to be a perfect match made in heaven for us. We have now gone through the full rebuild of this Mallorca side, so let's get into it. Try and push on. There's a chance that we could go top of the table here, but we would have to score five goals past Getafe. That's not going to happen. Let's see how we get on with a couple of games and see if this flow can carry on going. We pick up a 3-1 victory against Getafe. Jose Manuel Copit gets us a double as Suso, the greatest signing and football manager, gets us another one. He who should not be named will got another one, but we don't care about him. Moving on. Kino, Kino, I understand that you hate Liverpool, but please don't tell them that you wouldn't swap him for Virgil van Dijk because I would have that man with a click of the fingers. First it was good old Kev. Now it's Virg. Kino. Head on, I know you don't like Man City and I don't like, don't like Liverpool. Stop saying silly things in press conferences. Omar Mascral is leaving to join West Ham for 825,000. He didn't get into our final registration, so they're going to bring him in. Interesting thing here that he's had both his work permits reject twice, but man, West Ham are still going to sign him. I'm not going to say no. Bye-bye. One of the greatest emails ever to get through when you are in the La Liga. Just take a look at the commercial income from the first division here. Uh, we get 2.3 million, like pretty much the, the bottom from 15th down. Uh, but yeah, you will see the likes of Real Madrid and Barcelona getting over 200 million each. And then the next one is going to be 48 million of Atletico Madrid. <laughs> yeah. He's a bit of a sour taste in the mouth, that one does. Wowzer. A big match at the top with the team of the Yellow Submarine Villa Real. We like to say we need another win here. Hopefully we can get it. And we're going to try and run out with the same team that we've been playing pretty much most of the season right now. And he's been doing as well. So let's hope this can create something and win us against Villa Real. We are at home, so we're hoping that goes in our favour. But that's a very defensive formation there. There's Parejo and Coughlin as the holding defensive midfielders. That's going to be tough to break down, but I'm sure our team is more than capable of doing that as uh, it's not started too well for us. As we're going to bring this ball, Lorenzo, look at, look at the size of him. He is absolutely a unit. So we bring the ball through. Dada's going to get it, finds a ball through. Maruki gets it through. Oh, what a save that is. But where did that little burst of pace come through from Maruki? We'll take it. 
Put it on his head. He can't really do much with his feet. Put it on his head. And Suso's going to whip the ball, then finds the ball through. And there he's it. Told you. Just put it on his head. The ball will go in the back of the net. Suso, yet again, with another assist. And Maruki finding the back of the net with his bunts. 1-0. Oh, it's going to be an answer back, potentially, from Villarreal. The ball gets whipped in. And that is an unbelievable chance for them. But it's hit the bar and gone over. And that's going to see the end of the first half here. Not too bad. We'll take the corner goal. But not a lot has been said for our open play chances here. So we need to do something. Try and mix it up a little bit. But this is not the best start we've had. As Lato is going to get this ball now. Plays it in. Chicorino back to Lato. Can he put it in the box? We've got two big boys in there. Suso across. Suso. It's bounced off Lorenzo Luca. He is claiming it. I think that was more of Suso's goal there. But Luca is taking it. He's going to have as many as he can at a new club. And that is going to be a two-goal lead right now. Comes from the corner. Good little one-two there as well. Finds a good little pass into the center. All the way across. Suso hits it. Oh, well, he's trying to kind of head it in. Luca's taking it. But that is a two-goal lead. Let's put a hair going to whip this ball in. Can we get the header away? It's down. It's another fantastic save for Jantic. And that's going to be a corner for Villarreal. But I hope yet again, whipping that ball in. A big clearance away as Raylio heads it down. Only going to be finding another Villarreal player as he pushes through. But he hits the side netting. Nothing to worry about. I am a little bit concerned. So we are down to the 60th minute. I'm going to move Chiquinho out of the game because he's a little bit scared that that yellow card come by bite him in the backside. I'm going to bring Suso over to the left because he could happily play there. And then I am going to bring on a Chupamo team to play on the left. On the right, sorry. And hopefully we can get a goal from that. As Gonzalez finds Samu. Finds a great ball out the wing to Lato. He's going to whip it in there. Maruki's going to not get it, but it's going to be picked up by Chupa Moting, who's going to bring that ball down. Finds a good pass to Gonzalez. who are a little bit scared out. Yalakard, don't like it. Ball's going to whip it in. Maruki's there. Heads it in. It's over the ball. That's unlucky. A corner. Suso is going to whip it in. Maruki's there. Heads it down. It's at the post. Oh, my days. What has just happened? How are we not winning by three goals? Samu is playing a little bit bad, so I am going to bring him off, and I'm going to bring Lionel on. Not Messi, but I wish it was. Miranda is going to get the good header away from Relio there. Finds it back. Oh, no. But a bit of space. Rifles it. And unfortunately, no one is saving that as Foyth rifles it in the center off there to give them a little bit of hope. And that is 2-1. As Gonzalez with a throw in finds Chupamoti back to Gonzalez. What can he do here? Finds Raylio the center off. He's going to push forward a little bit. Great ball finding Lato in acres of space as he pushes through. It's a good tackle. Referee's happy with it. We do maintain possession of the ball. It's another good tackle as Miranda's going to pick it up. Finds Lato in the box. Ball the way across. And there is Lorenzo Luca with his second of the game, third of the season, to give us a 3 1 lead. That potentially could be the winner for us, but we just need to breathe a little bit that is huge that has stopped the momentum as well for Villarreal and these wings are being absolutely deadly come on Raylio is going to bring this out from center off fans compete he's going to bring it forward there's loads of players there as Miranda gets that ball fans got ball to Suso great pass Muruki Oh, but he has it taken off him. He just hasn't got that little edge with his feet of finding the right pass or making the right decisions as it's going to be Villarreal now pushing on, trying to find that second goal and putting a bit of pressure on us as the time is ticking away to the 90th minute. Still on this ball, moves it forward. Alex is there, finds it back. Good ball movement around here. Just keeping possession, waiting for the right pass and it's going to be from down the wing as Perez picks the ball in. Gerard is there, finds it down and that is a very, very, very poor from our centre off to not get the header there because that was really an easy kind of delivery to deal with but we just haven't done anything with it so I'm a little bit disappointed with our defenders there yeah not really done anything very poor 3-2 as time is ticking away, I'm just going to tell the players to waste time a little bit more and hopefully we can see this out as it goes over to the 95th minute and then the referee blows a whistle for the final game. And that is 3-2 against Villarreal. We absolutely hung on there. There were some big chances from both teams. They could have made this 3-2 for them, but unfortunately it goes, well, fortunately it goes our way and we pick up another three points. We do go on a nine-game undefeated streak, which is crazy. I think, really, if you if you take away, like, from Barcelona, the rest of the games were from last season, so that is why. But we haven't really played big teams apart from Barcelona the first game of the season, so there's going to be some tests thrown at us quite shortly.
We've had some awful news and I really want to cry because this man is absolutely saving me. So that undefeated streak of nine is about to come to an end right now as Suso is out for four to seven weeks. We are going to leave it with the physio, which is going to be four to five weeks. But my God, just bubble wrap him. Bubble wrap him so I don't have to deal with him. No. The scouts have come back and they have said that Mukoku needs to be loaned. Not ever again. That man wastes big chances. I have never seen someone miss a goal from... 12 yards out, which is not a penalty, and be so bad. Mukoku is now on the list. Noah Darvish has got his full scout report right now, and by God, at the age of 17, he looks so good. Be careful what I say there. He is actually injured, though, for two to four weeks. Maybe in the future, we try and loan this guy in because he looks brilliant. Now, with Suso injured, Diallo is going to come in for us, and as we have a little instruction from the... Manchester United team, we, he instantly becomes a winger for us. So if you, I'm sure you would know, if you go over here, you go on to personalize. Whenever I take Diallo out, he will now be our winger. If I change him with anyone else, they go back to inside forward. So I highly recommend if you have a lone player and they want them playing on that certain position and role, always put it on the personal when you click on them and then just change them to what they want. And this is exactly what Man United want. It will always keep them happy and that way it won't interfere with you getting him recalled back in the later stages. And hopefully it fits in with your tactic. But as a winger, that's perfectly fine for me. He will fit in with this tactic. So let's see how we get on against Almiron. An absolute wild game, but a 6-3 victory over Almiron is what it's going to be. We did take a 4-1 lead into the first half, and that is going to be Muruki Chiquinho. Diallo gained a goal on his debut as well. Lorenzo Luca keeping up his wonderful, wonderful tra uh, train of goals as well. Cesar Montez gets an own goal, and um, weirdly, Lauren gets us a goal as well. So, yeah, you wouldn't just support that, would you? Absolutely not. The board want to extend our contract, and I'm just going to have a little peek just to see what they want to give me. I'm going to say yes, but I don't want to go too crazy because I don't want a five-year deal and then end up not being able to leave a club because of the compensation in there. So we've got to be smart about how we go and how we're going to move. But we do have two games next. It's one is against Sporting Goujon, or Chicken Goujon, as I like to call it, and then the next one is against Girona, both in the relegation area there. Now, we've only played six games, of course, like, but still, they are both lower league sides, so we need to get them wins from them. We do pick up a 4-0 victory against Sporting Gujon, and it is going to be a Muruki Diallo again gain on the score sheet for us, and Copy to gain a goal. That is absolutely crazy, but just look at them stats there. We absolutely dominated against them, only allowing them just one shot on target, and 63% possession is absolutely phenomenal. And this run keeps going, and now you know what? I'm very happy with it. They're offering us a three-year deal at £18,000 a week. I'm going to go down to two years. Oh, no, they are negotiating three. I'm going to say two. Come on. You know you want to. There we go. We've got a two-year deal there, just in case things are a little bit crazy. Our compensation has now gone a little bit lower, just in case a club wants to have a little sniff at us, and hopefully someone a little bit better. Well, I say that. We are top of the Spanish division here, so that's not too bad. Crazy, crazy times. We haven't lost yet, but we are 19 points, which is mental. But yet, we've still played anyone relatively decent yet that I'm scared of. We've still got the Real Sociedads. We've got the Seville's. We've got the Betis, Madrid's. We've still got them to play. So let's not count the chickens before the eggs are hatched. So our game against Girona, and it's going to be a header yet again for Muruki as he is winning them from post headers on the corners. But here is a nice wild work goal as Lenzo Luca holds that ball up and somehow ends up putting the ball in the back of the net to finish it for us. So he had that hold up play from him. Absolutely fantastic. And we do get a third goal as Samu is going to bring that ball down, finding Dada, and he absolutely rockets it in for us to give us a 3-0 victory. Once again, we absolutely dominate as well with this possession, so it's not like we're just pumping the ball forward consistently. We're actually managing to get this possession down and keeping it away from the opposition. It's great to see, and I'm absolutely loving how we're playing. It's been a bit of a cracking month as well as Dodo picks up the player of the month. Five appearances, one goal, and six assists in playing as an advanced playmaker. Ho oh, ho, he is absolutely cooking. We do also pick up the manager of the month there with our wins consistently all the way through the month, so we will take that and move on to the month of October.
The win streak continues as we pick up a 3-2 victory over Cadiz. Jose Manuel Patit again is a goal. And then Chiquinho again is a double. We take that. Come on. One of the games that I am worried about and where I feel that we could potentially slip up with our win streak. It's going to be Atletico Madrid. Simeon is going to really try and stop this run here. And we also have Aurelio out injured, which is not good for suspended. That's not good. Is that's just going to come in? in for us. Suso is back. He's not really fit, but I'm still going to put him in just because how good he is, and he definitely needed in there for us. So this is potentially going to be the team for us. Hopefully, they can do something special. I oh, please just let it happen. Come on. I am a little bit worried about this. Last time we played Atletico Madrid, it ended up being 5-4, which was wild. But it's going to be Atletico Madrid starting. And the ball goes over the ball there for us, thankfully. It looks like it's going to be Atletico Madrid just trying to hit us on the counter-attack. Because we're keeping a lot of the possession here. We're just not getting it forward as Samuel Lino tries to strike it. It's going to be Suso clears it away. But it's a bit of a panic clearance there. And it's going to be pulled back up. But Lino is going to get that ball. Pushes into the box. Strikes the ball. But hits it wide, thankfully for us. Atletico Madrid trying to work this out from the back here. It is Savic is going to push down. We're going to try and get the ball off him. Kwonga hits his deep ball. Pushes a good ball through. Good. Okay, keep it while they've just literally just pulled our central center mids out. And Suso picks that ball up. Dodd is going to get it. Plays it back to Suso. Plays the ball in. What a ball. Finds Lenzo Luka. Flex it on. And there's a goal. Suso. Oh, my God. God, he is so good. Everything he touches just turns to gold. What a ball. What a delivery. And Luca, fantastic composure to just dig this over Oblak to give us a one goal lead. What a ball that is. What an edit. Come on. Laurent is going to play to Depaul from the throw in. As he moves it around, Savage is on. He finds Axel Witzel, plays the ball through. Can we get a header? Yes, good header. Chukudio brings it down. Suso, yet again, is going to push forward. Finds Muriki right there. Can he put the ball across? He can. As Ryoka gets that ball, plays it through, finds Chiquinho. Can he use his pace? Guy and get past the players. He tries to push it into the box. He certainly does, but that's a, such a bad pass there. It's going to be a clearance up, but that is nicely done by Kopit. Once again, we are going to try and move this down the wings, pushing it forward. Hopefully, we can find a switch. A big switch would work well. His daughter, he, he knows what to do. Gonzalez pushing forward, finds it, beats his defender, plays it through. Lucas there, hits it over the ball. It's a wasted opportunity. That could have been something big for us. As Lino is going to get that ball, finds Lamar. Lamar is absolutely rapid and can hit a rocket as he plays it through. Header cleared away, only finds the pull on the edge of the box. Going to push through, no penalty as the ball gets delivered through. That's going to be cleared out. Savage is going to pick it up as that wide centre off there. Pushing forward, trying to deliver with it. Muki's just slipped over. Who put a banana peel on the pitch? I don't know, but he's fell over there. Lamar hits the post and that's a little bit of a let off right there. As Atletico Madrid answering straight away with a... Ah, oh, he just panicked there, did Luca as he's headed away. Free kick being very effective from Atletico Madrid. As they go all the way back to All Black now. Witzel's going to pick up that ball, dropping in as the centre-off was up top. Let's see what they're going to do with this ball. They're probably just going to keep possession and try and draw us out like they have there. The two strikers pushing down. I saw Witzel finding a good ball. They're just literally waiting for us to, to attack and then they're going to try and find the gaps very good ball movement here as the ball plays it through finding a great run that's going to be oh my day oh. team wake up what are we doing how has the strike anticipated that and got a goal there what are we doing that is awful from us i don't believe that's just happened the switch off from us here is absolutely shambolic the ball gets played through and everyone just stops there. And he's just like gone, me, me, and ran straight through. Oh, 1-1. One, one. Chiquinho is playing absolutely awful for us. So I am going to bring him off. I'm going to bring Chupa Moting on for him and see if we can change that. 75th minute and also uh, Muruki is not playing the best here. So I'm going to put on Suso as that advance forward there. And then I'm going to bring on more pace of Diallo as that winger. And hopefully we can get the ball into the box to him. It's going to be a free kick to Atletico Madrid, which doesn't seem promising right now. He's in a very dangerous position. And I know DePaul can whip a ball in and is a very good dead ball specialist here. So then hopefully we don't concede from this as he's going to whip the ball in, head to toe. And there is a great save from Rajanchik, who's going to go out for a corner. 
corner. Right, boys, we've got to win this. Xavi Gallant is going to whip this ball in. Puts a good ball in. Goalkeeper doesn't come off the line, and he goes all over everyone as the ball picks it up. Dorne is going to get his a throw in, thankfully. A free kick for us, though. Suso is going to put it into the box. Finds Majorku is going to go back to Dorne there. I don't mind that because he can spread the ball around. Finds a great ball out on the right-hand side. Not sure what he was waiting for there. Had a chance to whip the ball in. Finds Ahmed Diallo. Tries to play the ball in. There is the cross. All the way through. He rescues a penalty. Oh, my days. Suso, who is on the penalty? Who is on the penalty? I don't know who's on the penalty. Right. I'm going to have a look right now down here. And it looks like Dorda is the most motivated right now. So, Dorda is going to be our penalty taker. So, we go over to set PCs. Penalties. Who is on there? Uh, oh, wow. Dorda. Dorda is going to take our penalties for us. Just because he's got the best mindset right now, Dorda has. So I'm going to put him on this penalty. Hopefully that pays off. Tick, I hope you've made the right decision here. Please tell me I have. A big moment, Dorda. Please, you've got the best mentality. Yes, and he does it. He puts it in for us. Come on. The payoff as well. Come on, right. Let me get back this sideline. Back to me normal ones. There we go. Come on. Get in. Yes, what I did there, guys, is pretty much I looked at the bottom and I saw whoever was on the best mentality and Dorda was motivated. So I used him for the penalty and that's why he scored it. I know that normally when I have big situations like this, my players normally mess it up if they are a little bit down or un uncomfortable with the situation that they have there and that is a victory for us i don't believe this season is happening how it is i honestly don't believe it this is mental we've just picked up a 2-1 victory against atletico madrid with an 88th minute penalty oh my god we are top of the la liga just look at that we are two points top of the la liga what is going on right now all i'm doing is using pace and big men up front and it's just getting his results. You know what? Tony Pulis would be proud of us. Nine games without... Well, nine games winning as well, that is. They're all victories. What is going on? That's 10 games done in the season. And I think that's the best place to end the episode. But if you do have a look at them fixtures over on the right there, you will see Atletico, Bilbao, Real Madrid... Sevilla and also Real Sociedad. We are going to be in. We've had our honeymoon. We've had our easy-ish games apart from Atletico Madrid. It is now time to get into the hard stuff and we are going to take some defeats. I can tell you that now. But guys, please absolutely smash the like for that undefeated start to this season. And also hit the subscribe because it helps me out massively. Guys, you've been legends. Thank you very much for checking out this content. Leave some comments down below. Who's going to be our first defeat? Sociedad. Sevilla, Real Madrid, Atletico Villarreal, only time will tell because one's coming and I, I'm not excited for it, but one's coming. So guys, make sure you do all the stuff above and I'll catch you all next time. Much love and bye-bye.